Hey YouTube, this is Rack City. I'm James. I'm Rose. And this is Track Gun. Episode what? 5. Wow. Yeah. So uh, last time we had the hungry, hungry hippo worm come in and we met Wolfwood. 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 And worm. Mm. Something Z the beast. Z Z Zazzy. 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 Zazzy the bee. <laughs> Zazzy. <that> makes sense. <laughs> mm. okay, I thought it was a cute surprise name. Okay. Mm. We had someone in the comments point out how immediately Wolf would make nick nick made nicknames for everybody and they just started like buddy buddy with Meryl and stuff like that. And given that afterwards we see that he's still working on a mission, so it's just like, oh, he's good at social situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's networking. Networking. Mm. Yeah, so is there anything you're expecting in this episode? Um... I am expecting the journey. Yeah, because this we are, we officially have the crew that's mm -hmm. on the cover of yeah. this this season. Yes, except for our, our land walker. Oh yeah, our, our vehicle. Mm -hmm. No, but he, he was using it to run away from the Nebraskans. Tarot? Nebraskans, remember? Nebraska. He was on it. Yeah. So it's around somewhere. He just picks it up and drops it off. Yeah. That thing pops in and out of existence. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Would it be funny if we never see a thing again? Like oh my gosh. In town or something? Oh my gosh. So guys, thank you guys very much for being here. Guys, if you like your time, please remember to like, subscribe if you want to see more. Remember, you can check the Patreon in the description if you want to see the uncut version of this or anything else that we do. Thank you very much. Stick around for discussion. Oh, I think it's like the wind blow. Oh. Good start. What will happen to you, child? <laughs> Some elder summoning going on. <laughs> yeah, it is just on the top. Unsecured. Nice. Two angels descend. Maximum temperature. Fifteen. Church of plant worshippers. Oh, okay. Both of them are fast asleep. <laughs> They're new. New. Okay. A normal color. What? Is it? Is it red now? I guess. He needs water. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's awake. Oh! Is this familiar to you? Deep crimson. <laughs> Chilling. Get it? Why are you going to another city? Die your car. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Sacrificing people? No plant. That's why they're praying. <laughs> He's like, wind power, so dumb. <laughs> you have to use plants, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's special about this to you, Bash? Oh, gross gooey things? Oh, sand. Okay. Uh, this clothing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Dip, dip, dip. Oh, I guess that's um, religious, and they're like, don't touch. Maybe it's the robes of all. Oh, it's the thing! Oh my gosh. Oh, but it knows it's. Oh no, I think uh -oh. it's another. Um... What a waste. You've been in this town all of five minutes. Yeah, and look at the craziness that has come to it. Hide inside. Ruining the town. Oh, no. That's their beautiful, whatever that is. He oh, just... he disappeared. Look at oh. that. Oh, okay. Smart. Blast him. No, the big side. He doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, windless day. Run. Run right into the machine's hands. Oh, or run out to the desert. That works too. Mm. Oh. Oh, interesting. Wow. Goodness. Oh, wow. Now just run. Don't investigate, okay? Is the kid yes. a flashback? That's what I'm wondering too. Deja <laughs> boo! Really? <laughs> What? Vash! Okay, you gotta leap now, huh? I don't understand it. It's like, don't kill me, but don't die. Oh my gosh, I don't get it. Drug? Oh, use damage? Oh, oh, it is. Oh, it's Star Wars back to tanks. 
Because the desert's not as red anymore either. Oh, yeah, the red, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Bash. Oh, Bash found him. The ever living coat. He's taking him back? Oh, he didn't know. Don't believe. Mm. Uh. Oh no, and then he wasn't. <laughs> oh, come on, Bash. Can't make such promises. Mm. Ooh. Oh, okay. The doctor. It's the doctor. Oh. The old voice. Yeah. She's a vampire. Oh, she said she's an angel. <gasps> oh, that's just the that's just the wind farm. Mm. Oh, the experiment of the child. Some side effects. Roids. <laughs> <laughs> Was that 2D? That's 2D. We're in 2D. Oh my God. Uh, uh. That is creepy. Hatred. <laughs> Wow, the worms. Venom? worms? Oh, oh my god. god. Just chomping on those things. Oh dear. I'm home. Please don't do it. Oh, and he's got one of those things. Oh, yeah, the big one. <gasps> yep. Just as we were getting through them. <sighs> Dang it, Wolf. What? What? <laughs> Is he gonna be mad? Yep. Like in five minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and now wind is blowing. 
wind. Huh. Rolla was the wind. I was gonna say. That kid really was cursed. Turn. Yeah. Wolf hunt? Nicholas. He's a creation of the doctor. Yeah. The Punisher. The Punisher. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, it's alive. The city's alive now. Oh, wow. Wow, it's just like the city's alive. Oh, that's sad. Really sad. Wow. wow. Discussion. Discussion. Sad episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just for the sake of being sad, apparently. Mm -hmm. I think it comes together at the end, but yeah. right now I, I want to save that for the ending. Mm -hmm. So like from the very beginning, um, they're talking on over this radio. They could hear, I guess, the local radio, which is praising some angel, mm -hmm. which uh, two angels came will come from the sky or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I was thinking maybe what's his name, Knives was like, hey, uh, go out you two and make a cult about me. Yep. Uh, and I'll use it later. Basically. <laughs> I believe that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yes. I mean, it's, uh, there the people who he's who oh, what was it? E.G. Bomber mm. is already like, oh my gosh, it's, it's the God. guy. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So this, this, yeah, that's what I'm thinking is happening. Mm -hmm. mm. I believe it. Mm -hmm. So what was up with this Rolo fella? Like, if they did make him, why was he just here, doing nothing? Yeah. I well, think he. I think he was. He went back. They sent him back home. And he tried to, you know, say hi. Mom, it's me, it's me. Everybody's scared of him. You know, the hatred, emotions. heightened emotion, makes him go crazy, kills everybody, and he just stays there. Mm -hmm. what, what else is he gonna do? He doesn't have any directives. They just made him into a monster. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so the doctor's been making these experiments, but for the most part, everyone we've come across seems to have total autonomy. Like mm -hmm. Nicholas, they just talk about, oh yeah, he's one of the experiments, right? Like they don't. We don't know exactly where he is. They're not sending him out to do something. Maybe they sent him initially or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's just that combined with this guy just sitting in a city for maybe 20 years. Mm -hmm. Like, what is he building towards that he doesn't need these scraps of these experiments? Well, they called him a failed experiment. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering if when they fa the experiment fails, they just catch and release. Okay, I missed that line. Well, yeah. 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 Uh, the, the, well, the girl small. said he was he he was a failed ex he was gonna fail too. Mm. Is what she, she said. So I guess we can assume that he did fail and he just sent him back. Versus um, Nicholas Wolfwood, we he's on a mission. We know, mm -hmm. so he could he and he also is. He, we see him. I don't know if this is connected to what your final thoughts were on an episode. He thinks you know just kill him. He he maybe recognize immediately. No, that was a creation of the doctor and he's suffering. Let's just get him out of his misery, mm. kind of thing. And because he himself is a creation of the doctor, mm. and maybe he wants to be taken out of his misery. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps. Um, yeah. Uh, I was wondering if, uh, do you think if, well, I guess this is also at the end, so. I just put that. <laughs> I mean, pretty much everything is interconnected yeah. at the end. Um, do you think if Wolfwood hadn't shot him, if he would have uh, been able to be saved? I think there's a very. This is anime, we could say, of course, there's always a chance, mm -hmm. but I would say no because of the what they, they did to him. They, they literally changed his the way his brain works so that his emotions always get ex, ex, what? Explode. Explosi ex exploding. Exploding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so even if he does come down in that moment, Bash could say or do any little thing and it just... Mm -hmm. trips him or somebody else does something it would be very hard to control him yeah I, I also I saw like a sliver there where he looked at Vash and he recognized him and he saw what he was saying so I could see him just becoming like the berserker that hangs out yes. but past that he's not really he, I don't want to say it has no hope for a regular life but it would have been a torturous existence mm -hmm. like at war with his inner self constantly constantly and they don't have the tech to help him no you know? mm -hmm. yeah so, but what you're saying about maybe Nicholas um, himself is looking for someone to take himself out. If he's also an experiment, that would explain why he took so much issue with what Vash said. As I can talk a big game about saving people. He mm -hmm. gets upset when he hears that because he, from his perspective, he knows you can't save people. Mm -hmm. Like, he can't be saved. So why mm -hmm. are you acting like you could save this kid? Mm -hmm. It's like false hope. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. I'm glad we got a. Um, I'm glad to know that they didn't just have Vash just suddenly so connected to this child. Remember in the middle, you're like so confused. Like, what do you mean you're going to come back and say you just met him? Mm-hmm. Apparently not. Uh, speaking of which, does Vash not age? I guess not. It's been 20 years. It's yeah. 20 so it's been 20 years. years since he last saw him as a kid. Kid. And then he saw him as a baby and he looked exactly the same. Yeah. I feel like that's going to come up soon because what's her name? Mer- Meryl found the picture and was like, wait a minute. Something. Although she, I guess she doesn't know that the kid oh, is Rolo. She right. just thinks that Vash has a child somewhere. Right. Those two actually don't know, but mm. only Wolfwood knows. And he already has ulterior motives, so he wouldn't reveal that. But I, mean, I, haven't, I mean, haven't the ships been down for like hundreds of years? I have no idea. Yes. They live in the ship plus. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, if those are ships that crashed, and it's, it has to have been a very long time if they don't know how to remake this stuff. Yeah, so right. Vash has to be a couple hundred years old. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's true. I would probably argue more than a couple hundred. Because they lost absolutely all of the tech. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, Everything, I mean... Yeah, because mm-hmm. you know, yeah, mm-hmm. the town itself is built around a husk, I think. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what it looks like. So they, the doctor said they've been trying for five years, and this is the first one when when they, they said the first one that has worked. The first one that lived for five years, I, I thought lived that's what he said. Four or five years? Yeah, like they gave him the injection, and he's the first one that lived for five years. Oh, okay. I thought he said the first one that's lived, like after five years of trying. That's what I thought he meant. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what he said. I don't know. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but we also learned that that tiny girl is a vampire. Oh. Is she a vampire? Possibly. Oh, because she has she the, has the, the spiky fangs. teeth. Yeah, and she she's like I'm an angel, and she talks like an adult mm-hmm. yeah. and acts like one too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is all coming together back to the the thing of what are they building towards? Are they trying to like make a superior organism mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. like that? And she's like an early success, mm-hmm. where it's like, hey, we can make vampires, but not quite what I want. Mm-hmm. Like, doing stuff. Yeah, maybe. And if she's also really old, it changes the relationship of the hand. Why the whole hand? <laughs> I was thinking that too. I'm like, ugh. I, I, I've already got like a headcanon of maybe what's happened if right. they don't explain it. Is um, they they were friends as children. She dies, and he's like, no, oh. and he like puts her in like a vat of something mm, to preserve her. Preserve her. He became the doctor later in order to figure out how to save her, and now she's the immortal right. child. She's, yes, and they're besties, so they always hold hands. Mm. I like that. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Because everybody on this other side seems to be broken in some way, and that makes sense. Yes. 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 <laughs> Indeed. Well, what's his name? Roberto's legend is actually just straight up true. Yeah. Yes. It's red because he uh, the desert was stained with blood. It's just um, <laughs> wait, I, I didn't. I don't remember the whole rubber story. Actually. Basically, there was a monster. It appeared right. in the middle of the night right. out of nowhere, and then laid waste to the the city in the desert. Yes. And that's why the desert is just red because it used stained. to be a normal coat. Right. And when we when we were with the kid, he, the desert was, was a color. normal normal color. Yeah, it yeah, actually was. Yeah, but yeah. stained with blood. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to refute it, but it's like there's nothing else. There's nothing else because they don't get rain, so it's entirely possible that it's just the sand on the top is just yeah, it's blood, bloody sand. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, but wind. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I was just thinking that perhaps there has been no wind. Oh, well, yeah, guess. but I was also thinking that maybe it was just because of the heat, it like baked it over a long period of time because there's no wind to like rile up the ground and it got darker. But I don't know if that's how anything works. <laughs> so it's just that it seems crazy to me. Yes. It's actually all red. Yes. And also the fact that it's it goes for miles, a it's long distance. It's supposed to be a really sad story, okay? Okay. It adds to the sadness of the story. Okay. He bodied everybody. <laughs> just threw the rounds like, all right, today is you, Jeffrey. Just peace. No. Oh, no. 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 But, um, it's so much worse than what I said. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but, but that's what, what I was trying to um, bring it to with my point. It, a sad story. So last episode we were talking about how uh, they said we need to break Vash, uh, his sense of morality, right? So I think this is kind of a step to it, but not intentionally. This is a situation where he tries his best to do the right thing, but he genuinely cannot help him, and that kid in a manner of speaking, was actually just cursed, and there's nothing you could have done to help him. Because mm-hmm. the whole, it, 
when the city comes back to life, when that kid dies, in a way it's like, this is how it was always supposed to be. This kid legit was supposed to die. Mm. And him not dying was the bad choice, but the morally correct choice. Mm. So like that's a, a challenge to his worldview. Mm-hmm. Like, the kid had to die. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Mm. Like sometimes sad stories happen and they just happen and nothing he can do about it. And so this is one of the first times he's going to get a little toe in the water of that. And then we're going to see knives actually try to put him through situations. Yes. Maybe. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it felt like an episode that was trying to be really poetic mm-hmm. and I didn't really feel it till right Same. at the end. When the lights came on, it's like, yeah, oh. yeah, same. Mm-hmm. It's like it, it almost tricked me into thinking that I was like, amazed by the whole episode, the whole time. But it, it was just the end. It was just the end. Uh, I think time is the main problem here. Like, if I knew about that kid from episode four, this easily could have been a very tragic episode. Yeah. But it's hard to introduce somebody, and I did feel bad for him. But mm-hmm. it was just it happened so fast. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, you're gonna have to put him down, like old Yeller. You know, I, I'm not connected to this kid very mm-hmm. much. But it was sad. I just feel like it could have been really, really powerful if they had introduced or hinted towards this kid. Like, maybe from episode three, it's like, yeah, I have to go see Knives. He's in this direction. Yeah, I'll stop by Rolo along the way. Like, some hints mm-hmm. towards this kid that he knows, you know. Mm-hmm. I I'll, I don't know if that would have worked as well with the way they did the episode, though, because we were very confused about the connection mm-hmm. of him to Rolo. And, and when we did, like, get, oh, wait a minute, he knows him. It was kind of a nice moment to be like, oh, wait, that makes sense with this and this and this. So I feel like for the way they brought the episode around, introducing Rula early would have kind of ruined a lot of that. Yeah, it just but, didn't do much for me with that. Like, the whole surprise and stuff, mm-hmm. I mean, that was cool. It's just, okay. Yeah. You know, at least mm-hmm. that's how I felt about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I yeah, done. I'm done. Um, I guess the only th- other thing is, um, what's his name? Wolfwood's name is The Punisher. <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> The Punisher. It's, it's not the Undertaker. Very on the nose there. Yeah. Re- dressed in black. Yeah. Has a bunch of guns. Yeah. Well, he has one gun right now. Yeah. But in the I, original, I, he had so many I, guns. I, I, I'm I'll really, never get over that. I'm really hoping that they, they, they still go back to that at some point where he just oh, opens yeah. it up no. and takes out like some little guns. Of guns. <laughs> no, please. Please don't. <laughs> Or maybe it's just like a, a funny thing where they take away the, the giant cross gun and like he just keeps pulling guns out. It's like, where do you keep getting these guns? <laughs> yeah, like he loses it somehow. Like he drops away and he can't use it. Not so somebody he's... takes mm-hmm. it. Or that. Okay. I'm just saying if he doesn't have it. Mm-hmm. Oh, we also got introduced, by the way, to the health little thingies. The blue juice that heals yes. your insulin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that should have been a hint earlier in the episode, too. Why does he also have a blue gel, blue liquid thingy? Mm-hmm. And the reason is the same source. Same He's a super soldier, maybe. Yes. Maybe. I mean, I guess. Oh, wait. Remember, he also got hit by a car and wasn't damaged? Right, right. Yes. Yeah, he's a super soldier. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And they were like, this is one of my perks. I'm, it's I'm one of those tough. things. I'm tough. Sturdy. Speaking of tough people, yeah. Vash, oh, that God. makes sense. He's smashed into the wall. He's not hurt. He's 100,000 years old. <laughs> yeah. He's a million years old. He's a million years old. Yeah, he's a tank. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'm very excited to see the next episode. Yeah. yeah, so guys, thank you guys very much for being here. Guys, like the time here, please leave a like, subscribe for and see more. Remember, you can see the uncut version of this if you go down to the Patreon down below, and also you can see the merch store where you can see the clothes and the stuff that we're wearing, or the night version of these clothing. Also, leave a comment. What did you think about the episode? What do you think the whole Rolo story meant and did it hit you the way it was trying to hit you? Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. A special thanks to our patrons, Tyler Costin, Jake Farrell, Robin Berglund, Alex and Alexander Dietz.